Hello, second grade leaders. Today we're going to read chapter 18. Remember that when we left off with Edward, he had just made it to um, Bryce and Sarah Ruth's house. Bryce had given Edward to her as a doll. And remember that Sarah Ruth is really sick. Um, I'm actually going to go back a couple pictures for you here so you can see what it looks like inside um, Sarah Ruth and Bryce's house. You can see Bryce playing his harmonica and Sarah Ruth holding Edward, who she renamed Jangles. So let's see what happens in chapter 18. Bryce and Sarah Ruth had a father. Early the next morning, when the light was gray and uncertain, Sarah Ruth was sitting up in bed, coughing, and the father came home. He picked Edward up by one of his ears and said, I ain't never. It's a baby doll, said Bryce. Don't look like no baby doll to me. Edward, hanging by one ear, was frightened. This, he was certain, was the man who crushed the heads of China dolls. Jangles, said Sarah Ruth between coughs, and she held out her arms. He's hers, said Bryce. He belongs to her. The father dropped Edward on the bed, and Bryce picked up the rabbit and handed him to Sarah Ruth. It don't matter anyway, said the father. It don't make no difference. None of it. It does so matter, said Bryce. Don't you sass me, said the father. And he raised his hand and then turned and left the house. You ain't got to worry about him, said Bryce to Edward. He ain't nothing but a bully. And besides, he don't hardly ever come home. Fortunately, the father did not come back that day. Bryce went out to work and Sarah Ruth spent the day in bed holding Edward in her lap and playing with a box filled with buttons. Pretty, she said to Edward as she lined up the buttons on the bed and arranged them into different patterns. Sometimes when a coughing fit was particularly bad, she squeezed Edward so tight that he was afraid he would crack in two. Also, in between coughing fits, she took to sucking on one or the other of Edward's ears. Normally, Edward would have found intrusive, clingy behavior of this sort very annoying. But there was something about Sarah Ruth. He wanted to take care of her. He wanted to protect her. He wanted to do more for her. That's new for Edward, right? At the end of the day, Bryce returned with a biscuit for Sarah Ruth and a ball of twine for Edward. Sarah Ruth held the biscuit in both hands and took small, tentative bites. You eat up that, honey. Let me hold Jangles, said Bryce. Him and me got a surprise for you. Bryce took Edward off in the corner of the room, and with his pocket knife, he cut off lengths of twine and tied them to Edward's arms and feet, and then he tied the twines to sticks of wood. See? All day I've been thinking about it, Bryce said. What we're going to do is make you dance. Sarah Ruth loves dancing. Mama used to hold on to her and dance around the room. You eating that biscuit? Bryce called out to Sarah Ruth. Uh-huh, said Sarah Ruth. You hold on, honey. We got a surprise for you. Bryce stood up. Close your eyes, he told her. He took Edward over to the bed and said, Okay, you can open them now. Sarah Ruth opened her eyes. Dance, Jangles, said Bryce. And then moving the strings with the stick on his one hand, Bryce made Edward dance and drop and sway. And the whole time, he, uh, and the whole while, at the same time, with his other hand, he played on the harmonica and played a bright and lively tune. Sarah Ruth laughed. She laughed until she started to cough. And then Bryce laid Edward down and took Sarah Ruth in his lap and rocked her and rubbed her back. You want some fresh air? He asked her. Let's get you out of this nasty old air, huh? Bryce carried his sister outside. He left Edward lying on the bed and the rabbit staring up at the smoke-stained ceiling. Though, again, he thought about having wings. If he had them, he thought, he would fly high above the world to where the air was clear and sweet, and he would take Sarah Ruth with him. He would carry her in his arms. Surely, high above the world, she'd be able to breathe without coughing. You can see that Edward is starting to think of someone else other than himself. After a minute, Bryce came back inside, still carrying Sarah Ruth. She wants you too, he said. Jangles, said Sarah Ruth. She held her arms. So Bryce held Sarah Ruth, and Sarah Ruth held Edward, and the three of them stood outside. Bryce said, you gotta look for fallen stars. Them are the ones with magic. They were quiet for a long time, all three of them looking up at the sky. Sarah Ruth stopped coughing. Edward thought that maybe she had fallen asleep. There, she said, and pointed to a star streaking through the night sky. Make a wish, honey, Bryce said, his voice high and tight. That's your star. You make a wish for anything you want. 
And even though it was Sarah Ruth's star, Edward wished on it too. I wonder what Edward's wish was on that star. Maybe we'll find out in the next chapter.